Engineers and safety officials have been worrying for years about this country's infrastructure, including its many long neglected bridges. Mark Rosenker was chairman of the National Transportation Safety Board at the time of the deadly bridge collapse in Minneapolis back in 2007. And he joins us now from Washington. Mark, good morning. Thanks for being here. Good morning, Anthony. Good morning, Anne Marie. This bridge, uh, uh, this problem doesn't seem to be because of structural problems in the bridge, Mark, does it? I mean, this bridge was inspected every two years. So how does something like this happen? Well, that's what the NTSB is going to be looking very carefully at, very methodically at. Uh, they're going to really take a look at these girders that were struck. They're going to be looking for corrosion. They're going to be looking for fatigue. They're going to be looking for rust. They're going to make sure it was built to standard. Lots of questions are going to be asked, even though they know this initially began with the, stru with the truck striking those girders. So, Mark, there wasn't a structural problem, but this bridge had a rating of being a functionally obsolete, which doesn't sound much better. It doesn't make me feel confident about it. Just because it's functionally obsolete does not mean that it's an unsafe bridge. It just means it was built in an older period of time and is really not up to date with the amount of traffic that's going through there, the amount of shoulder space that's needed. Uh, so they're uh, really a, a useful bridge, but it's just like a, a used car. The technology, in fact, has improved over the years. Well, but one in nine bridges in this country, Mark, as you know, are, are rated functionally obsolete. I mean, how big a problem is that? Uh, being functionally obsolete is not as tough a problem as it might be what we call structurally deficient. And we have a number of those bridges, something close to 75, 80,000, that are. Those potentially need significant amounts of maintenance, significant amounts of rehab, or in fact, in some cases, need to be replaced. So the American Society of Civil Engineers gives the infrastructure in this country a grade. The grade is D+. Plus. Bridges are a little better, C+. Plus. But if I came home with a report card like that, I think I'd be grounded. That doesn't really make you feel confident. Do we have a problem here? We do have a problem here, and we need to address it before things really begin to uh, come back to home and haunt us where we do have bridges that fall just because they're too old. But with that said, there are 607,000 bridges here in the United States. Uh, the amount of uh, inspection and rigor that goes into looking at these bridges every, every year, every two years, which is necessary to keep them operating, uh, you can feel comfortably that that is happening. What about the money that's needed to fund these kind of repairs, Mark? Billions of dollars. Billions and billions and billions of dollars. Uh, we, we can't not forget that our infrastructure is our lifeline. So we have to invest in it. But with that said, uh, I'm not sure uh, with the mood today of the Congress where we're going to find that money. All right. Mark Rosenker, thank you very much.